Speaking of farming, our next guest knows all about it. Here on Morning in America, we're highlighting everyday people across the country. We call this the American Snapshot. We want to welcome Greg Vollmer, a sixth generation farmer and owner of Mid Lakes Custom Services, which, for those of you watching at home, harvest crops for dairy farms in northwestern Wisconsin, something that is very important. A good morning to you, Greg. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Adrian. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. No, we've been hearing about the industry. Uh, obviously, the farming industry has been impacted by a lot of things, including shortages uh, like fertilizer and grain. A lot of people speculating that because of what's happening with the war in Ukraine, that it's going to get even worse. Uh, what are your thoughts? How, how has your experience been? Um, it's, it's been a challenge. Uh, every month that goes by, you know, we, we look back and you know, we should have locked in more of our inputs, fuel, fertilizer. Um, uh, so far, you know, it's looking back, I mean, if we had a crystal ball, we'd have done everything different, but um, it's one of those things we just have to try to manage our risk as much as possible with, with what, what we have today. And um, hopefully Mother Nature helps us out. Mother Nature, uh, I know you're getting help in other ways. Uh, you do believe in actually using technology. A lot of people uh, in the industry are using smart farming. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what exactly you're implementing in terms of maybe GPS, robotics? Sure, a lot of our equipment has GPS, which is basically hands-free. You know, the, the tractors can pull in, you know, if we're, we're, we're mowing a field, cutting hay, uh, the operators can pull into the field and basically the tractor takes control. Um, it, it, it'll drive by itself, um, but at, at this point, we still need the operator sitting in the seat to make sure everything is working as it should. Um, so we don't have unmanned vehicles yet, but um, um, we're getting very close. Are staffing shortages an issue for you right now? Yeah, big time. Um, we, we don't necessarily have, we have enough people to function. Um, we're, we're usually growing every year, so we're looking to add to our staff, but it's been a challenge. Um, usually, you know, this this is the time of year where we're ramping up for our busy season. We've been trying to find a couple extra people to add to the staff, and it's been um, for the first time in a long time um, we haven't really found anybody. So it's kind of we're in uncharted territory for us. When you say uncharted territory, can you just kind of dig a little deeper into that? What do you mean? Sure. I mean, our, our mode for finding people is typically Facebook, it's something simple. Really? Um, we were farm kids. Um, most of the employees that I have grew up on farms. So those type of people are, you know, there's not as many of those people that we can draw from. And basically our labor, labor pool is shrunk for everybody. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're struggling to find, um, you know, usually if we went on Facebook, somebody would apply. Uh, we could always find somebody. And it's been just... Um, it's kind of scary when, you know, if we have somebody leave the company, we need to fill that seat. It's bottom line, uh, forage harvesting takes a lot of people that there's a lot of things running simultaneously and they have to. So we need to have people in the seat to make this operation run. Well, hopefully somebody watching right now who was an FAA as a kid, is it F Future Farmers of America, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll actually be like, I need a job, and I live in Wisconsin. But real quick, we only have 20 seconds. What would you say is your hope for this industry? Because we're always going to need farmers here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very optimistic. We'll figure out how to make this work. Um, I think automation coming is going to be huge for, for all industry. But I think um, that that's something that we're looking to invest in, you know, whether it's, you know, something that drives by itself or something if we have multiple pieces of equipment one that mirrors, you know, one's manned by something and the other one's right behind mirroring. That, those type of things that I'm excited about. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.